I never heard of that word either. But now we all know that it means goosebumps. As a matter of fact, just saying that word gives you a little goosebumps. All right, right now we've got a brand new group of contestants who called our 800 number wound up here. Who are they tonight? Let's find out. They are Doug Arn, director of Santa Margarita, California. Carolyn Mulcahy, Huntsville, Alabama. Bob Hody, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Rob Gardner, Hartsville, South Carolina. Norman Sterner, coming Georgia. Patrick Egan, Salem, Oregon. Andrew Rents, Rock Hill, South Carolina. Sarah Johanningsmeyer, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Mirka, Post Casal, Ithaca, New York. Okay, everybody, thank you very much. Good luck to you now. Audience, we need complete silence here for this next question. And here comes the first fastest finger question. Put the following cartoon dogs in the order they first debuted on TV, starting with the earliest. Astro, Santa's Little Helper, Huckleberry Hound, Scooby-Doo. Okay, time's up, everybody. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest dog, Huckleberry Hound, then Astro, Scooby-Doo, Santa's Little Helper. Let's see who got it right. In the fastest time of the winner, Rob Gardner. Get free. Rob Gardner, 36 year old attorney from Hartsville, South Carolina. Congratulations. Thank you. Finally made it, huh? Yeah, finally made it. Uh, your wife is a little bit nervous about this whole thing, so she stayed home in, in South Carolina. That's right. Along with your four-year-old daughter. That's correct. So you brought your mother along. How That's you right. Brought the baby, sir. Mother's name is Lou. Nice to see you, Lou. Thank you. And uh, you're an attorney. What kind of law do you practice? Well, I do a general practice. I'm in a small town, but I do primarily domestic practice, child custody, divorces, things so like that. Do they have a lot of lawyers in Hartsville, South Carolina? Yeah, actually, there are, there are a lot of lawyers there. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. All right, good. You're the only one here. <laughs> That's so you right. You know the rules. You know, you're just 15 questions away from winning $1 million right now, Rob. But once you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, you're guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money. And to help you win, you have three lifelines, 50-50, ask the audience, and phone a friend. So if you're ready to play, Rob, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> for $100. Which of the following is a slang phrase that describes an unexciting event? No great shakes. No great adventure. No great white whale. Staring contest. Go with a final answer. Got it for $100. No great shakes. Here it is for $200. By definition, a carpenter works mainly with which of these materials? Rock, ice, wood, hot fudge. Let's go with C, wood. That's what a carpenter works for. And works with the wood. $300. Rent up is a slang word for what? Circus tent, convertible car, paperback book, hairpiece. Convertible car B. That's what they call the convertible. A red top. Go up to $500 right now. Which of the following snack foods is triangular in shape? Doritos, Oreos, Fritos, Pringles. Hey, Doritos. You've eaten a few of those? Yeah, Doritos. Triangular. Here it comes now for $1,000. What part of a healthy tooth is normally exposed in the mouth? Root, pulp, gum, crown. D, crown. Yes, the crown for $1,000. That's what you see. Here it comes now for $1,000. Which of 
couple of those you had to look at twice, right? Super faithful. All right, but you made it uh, just fine. You've got three lifelines <coughs> left. We're going for $2,000. Ten away from a million. Here it comes. By definition, what is the main subject of all pastoral art? City scenes, oceans, churches, rural life. Pastoral art. Take them one at a time. May apply to city scenes? I didn't say the C or D. I think. C or D. Oceans are out. Churches or rural life are in, huh? D, rural life. I don't know if your wife, she did the right thing by staying home. This is a cliffhanger. Every question <laughs> is a cliffhanger with you. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, rural life. Pastoral life. going for four thousand dollars right now which of these u.s states does not border the gulf of mexico alabama georgia mississippi louisiana b georgia final final georgia the right answer He's eight away from one million. Here it is for 8,000. In the 1990 movie, Edward Scissorhands, Edward excels at what garden art? Espalier? Apiary? Topiary? Bonsai? See the movie? Did not see the movie. Let's ask the audience. I think that's a pretty smart thing to do at this point. All right, audience, we need a little help for Rob. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, 65% say topiary. Bonsai came in uh, second. I'll agree with the audience and say topiary. Final? Final answer. Audience got it for you. They want eight Tavola.com. Rob Gardner from Hawksville, South Carolina. He's an attorney, one of those uh, country lawyers with a laid-back style. Now, how do some of your clients feel about that? Well, I've had a, a problem with a few. One actually fired me one time. She said, I just, to be a lawyer, I wasn't mean and sneaky enough. And oh. she, she wanted somebody, especially when you go through divorces, she said she she liked me she thought i was a good lawyer but she just her husband was too sneaky and she thought she needed somebody to be real sneaky too so that's the the nicest firing i've ever had yeah <laughs> you're giving lawyers a good name well that's unusual and um you're seven away from a million rob you've won eight thousand we're going for sixteen thousand let's play <laughs> on the tv series the parkers what do kim and her mother nikki do together Go to college, run a bookstore, wait tables, work for the CIA. I have to admit, I've never watched the Parkers. Okay. Unfortunately, I just used the audience lifeline, so that's not good. home with you so I would like to call Bob. What is Bob? Bob is my cousin and he, he works at a uh, well drilling and gin facility. 
well drilling? Well drilling, yes. All right, he's a the well driller. That's right. Well, he works for it, yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> well, we'll get to him on the line, see if he can help us. at and please. Regis Philbin here from ABC's The Wants to Be a Millionaire. How you doing? Fine, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm here with Easy Going Rob. Oh, I know it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going for 16000 right now, but needs your help to get there, okay? All right. He's going to read you the question, the four answers. One of them is the right answer. Rob, it's all yours. 30 seconds starts now. On the TV series, The Parkers, what do Kim and her mother, Nikki, do together? Do they go to college, run a bookstore, wait tables, or work for the CIA? TV series, the Parkers. The Parkers, what do Kim and her mother do together? What do Kim and her mother do together? Go to college, wait tables, bookstore, or CIA? Ten seconds. Go to college, I'm sorry, Rob. Go to college. You know that or you just say it? I don't know for sure. Okay. <laughs> I guess it feels like it makes sense to him. <laughs> well, that's what he thinks, and that's what I think, and I think if he is a 50-50, it's still going to be there, so I'll say, hey, go to college, final answer. Yes, they go to college. As a matter of fact, they attend Santa Monica Junior College together. All right, here it is, pal. Very important, $32,000 level. Six away from a million. Here it is for 32,000. Franklin W. Dixon is the pseudonym for the writer of what popular children's book series? Encyclopedia Brown, Bobsy Twins, The Hardy Boys, Sweet Valley High. Let's use the 50-50. Computer, would you narrow it down now? Taking away two of the wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. I'm going to say C, the Hardy Boys. Is that because you weren't familiar with the Hardy Boys? I read them years ago, but I can't remember the name of the author. I read them when I was growing up. So this is a guess. That, that was my initial impression, and as I've heard you say many times, go with your initial impression if you don't know better. So in other words, if you lose, you're blaming me. Exactly. I'll expect a check from you if I lose. <laughs> All right, let's hope you don't lose. So final answer is? C, the Hardy Boys, final answer. Yes, keep listening to me. $32,000. All right, now we're totally out of lifelines. All three are gone. We're going up to 64000 and five away from a million. Take a look. What country refers to its organized crime as the Yakuza? Thailand, China, Japan, Vietnam. people that are anxious to get where I am and maybe they'll be a little more exciting on TV than I am so I will go ahead and say B China final answer no it's Japan Japan I'm sorry Rob you were a good guess man $32,000 well I think that Rob might have been the nicest lawyer any of us are ever going to meet. But we still have seven more contestants and one more lawyer ready to go. So here's the next fastest thing. Good question. Put these U.S. states in order of the number of electoral votes each has, starting with the fewest. Pennsylvania, Vermont, North Carolina, Arizona. Time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the fewest. Vermont, Arizona, North Carolina, Pennsylvania. That's the right order. Who did it at the fastest time? The winner is Doug Clark.
rights. When freedom calls, we're here to answer. Doug Brown from Rancho Santa Margarita, California. In the hot seat right now. Boy, that's some name, isn't it? Rancho Santa Margarita, California. Yes. Got to spell that out every time you... Uh, you have to, huh? We just we just abbreviated RSM. It's mm. a lot easier. Great. And your wife Anne is in the audience. Hi, Anne. How Hi, you doing? Doing pretty good. You're expecting the second? Yes, I am. Child? Yeah. That's good. And it was a tricky way the way uh, Doug uh, got Anne to, uh, well, the way you proposed to her. <laughs> First of all, you were attending. Both of you were attending another wedding, right? Right. And then what happened? Well, I had made arrangements the day before with uh, the groom and the bride, uh, the best man and his girlfriend, that when the bride was going to toss the bouquet. Uh, the best man's girlfriend would push all the other women out of the way. <laughs> and the, the bouquet went right into Anne's hand, and I went right up, proposed to her right then and there, and uh, caught it on videotape, and everyone had a good time. Gee, if you'd done it a couple of minutes before, you would have had a double marriage, and it wouldn't cost you a dime. <laughs> all right, so now let's get started, okay? You know the rules, you know about the lifelines, Doug, 50-50, ask the audience, you can phone a friend. So if you're ready, Doug Arm, let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> $100. According to a common phrase, it takes two to do what? Argue, play checkers, tango, order the poo poo platter. <laughs> I will go with C, tango. Yeah, you gotta have two to tango, and that's the common phrase. $200. In the U.S., a law enforcement group that uses dogs is called what? Poodle Patrol? Canine unit, bloodhound gang, smelly. <laughs> I believe it's B, canine unit. That's what they call them, the canine unit. $300. Which of the following is billed as the happiest place on earth? Disneyland, Great Adventure, Knott's Berry Farm, Capitol Hill. <laughs> well, uh... Not too far from where I live. Uh, the answer is A, Disneyland. Bet you've been there a couple of times. You're right, Disneyland. Is the right answer. Doug is up to $500. In the parlor game charades, the person giving the clues is forbidden to do what? Point, walk, speak, sit. The answer would be C, speak. You can't speak, you're right. Charades, gotta be silent. Here it comes now for $1,000. The word Beamer is slang for what brand of car? Mercedes-Benz, Blazer, Bonneville, BMW. Depending on where I get, maybe I'll visit them at the uh, BMW dealership. D. That's what they call it. A Beamer. $2,000. Here it comes. According to the classic television commercial, even kids with chicken pox love what? Oscar Mayer Wieners, Amber Hot Dogs, Big Newtons, Good and Plenty. I've seen a lot of commercials, but not this one, I don't think. Or if it did, it didn't stick. to use the audience early, but I think I will. All right, fine. Audience, Doug wants your help. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, 51% say Amra Hot Dogs, and Oscar Mayer came in second, 32%. I was pretty sure it wasn't Oscar Mayer, so I'm going to uh, go with the audience and say B. Final? Final answer. They did it again. You got it. <laughs> Armor hot dogs. Okay, nine away from a million, four thousand dollars. In the novel and film, The Hunt for Red October. What is Red October? Spy satellite? Ballistic missile? Stealth bomber? Nuclear submarine? In uh, preparing for the show, 
and thinking of the literature questions I might get asked, I was really hoping for a Tom Clancy question, because it's one of the few that I do know. Uh, the answer would be D, nuclear submarine. Final? Final. Red October, nuclear submarine. Two lifelines left. Eight away from a million, eight thousand dollars. Take a look. Revolutionary war hero Ethan Allen was the leader of what band of soldiers? Regulators, Sons of Liberty, Green Mountain Boys, Hessians. Too many facts in my mind. does me any good to save the lifeline, so I'm trying to decide who to call. Okay. I'm going to call my friend Tim. Tim does what? Uh, Tim is a soccer player, actually. Runs a soccer, soccer player. Runs a soccer training camp. Oh, yes. Friend from high school. All right. Uh, friends at AT&T will get Tim on the line. Thank you. Hello? Tim? Yes. Regis Philbin calling from New York City. How are you? Pretty good. How are you doing? How's soccer camp this year? Very good. Thanks. Great. Well, I'm here with Doug. He needs a little help. He's going to read you the question and all possible answers, okay? Sounds good. One of them's the right answer. Go ahead, Doug. 30 seconds starts now. Tim, Revolutionary War hero Ethan Allen was the leader of what band of soldiers? Regulators, Sons of Liberty, Green Mountain Boys, or Hessians? Okay, one second. Let me think. Ethan Allen. Ethan Allen, leader of who? The Regulators, the regulators. Sons of Liberty, Sons of Liberty. Green Mountain Boys, or Hessians. Seven seconds. Green Mountain Boys would be my guess. Pretty sure? I, I would. Yeah, I would be very sure. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Tim's had history a little bit more recently, and uh, I will go with his answer and make it your. It will be my final answer. Timmy came through for eight thousand dollars. Live well. Ask about Kaskali and long live you. Doug Allen from Rancho Santa Margarita, California, going for $16,000. So, you're expecting, uh, well, you've got a birthday tomorrow. Right? I do have a birthday tomorrow. Yep. You know who else has got a birthday tomorrow? Um, no, I don't. Me. Well, happy birthday. Yeah, you and me, pal. Happy birthday. I think you're in a year and a, a year and a half older than me, or something like that. It's close. All right, you're doing fine here. We're going to sixteen thousand dollars, Doug. Seven away from the million, but just one lifeline is left. Let's play. Here we go. What kind of tree appears on the official flag of Lebanon? Cedar, olive, palm, willow. I'm sure it's not palm, and I don't think it's willow. Well, um, I think this is one of those points where I'd say I've had a lot of fun. And, uh, well, no, wait. You've got a lifeline. I do have a lifeline. And, uh, you know, you can narrow it down and uh, see if what you want is still on there. Maybe it won't be. But again, maybe it will be. Maybe, maybe it will be. I'm just... Uh, I think I'm going to risk it at this point. Okay. If I don't get it, so be it. I'm going to go with B, Olive. Final answer? Final answer. No, it's a cedar tree. Cedars of Lebanon. Well Sorry. Nice having you here. One lifeline left on the table. Who knows if it would have helped? Anyway, we still have seven more contestants ready to go, so here's the next fastest finger question. 
Put these U.S. national parks in geographical order, starting in the west. Carlsbad Caverns, Rice Canyon, Mammoth Cave, Death Valley. Okay, everybody, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting in the west, Death Valley, then Rice Canyon, Carlsbad Caverns, Mammoth Cave. That's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? And the winner is yeah. Andrew. from Rock Hill, South Carolina in the hot seat right now. That's our second contestant tonight from uh, South Carolina. And Andrew is a, uh, well, he's a, a truck driver. Yes, I am. 18 wheelie? Yes, sir. Boy, that's a big truck, huh? Yes. And you're married to uh, Deborah. Deborah, it's nice to see you. Nice to see you, Reed. You've been driving a truck how long now? Uh, 11 years. You ever get tired of doing it? No, love it. Do you? Yeah. Well, what is it, like a rush up there sitting up high, going that fast? It's just freedom. I'm out there by myself. It's my responsibility to be safe get there on time. I just I just love doing it. Good for you. Andrew, you know the rules. You know about the lifeline. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> All right, Andrew, here we go for $100. The down used to stuff jackets and comforters comes from what animal? Sheep, goose, cow, squid. Be goose. Yes, it comes from goose. <laughs> $200. What is the abbreviation for the government agency that insures accounts in U.S. banks? Is it PTA, GOP, FDIC, WWF? It would be C, FDIC. FDIC, the right answer. $300. According to a famous saying, a lawyer who represents himself has what? The jury's pity. A fool for a client. His life in his hands. Two lawyers. That would be B, a fool for a client. Yes, you're right, Andy. A fool for a client. $500. Here it comes. What word refers to a piece of fishing equipment as well as a basketball maneuver? Book, line, dribble, bait. That would be A, hook. Hook the right answer, sure. For one thousand dollars. The earth is divided into how many standard time zones? Four, 12, 24, 360. We just want to say C, 24. Yes, 24 time zones. Carrot.com to find one today. And Bill Rents drives one of those 18 wheelies all around America. He's a truck driver from Rock Hill, South Carolina. First time here in New York City? Yes, first time. How'd you like to drive one of those big rigs around this town? Well, I've been in Chicago, and, you know, it's, if you know where you're going, it's not that bad. Good. All right, fine. Here we go. We're back at it. You've got three lifelines. You're going for uh, $2,000. Ten away from a million. Let's play. For $2,000, the name of what art form comes from the Greek word meaning to draw with light? Lithography. Embossing. Etching. Photography. Regis, I believe I'm going to have to ask the audience. Well, why don't we do that, all right? Andrew needs your help, everybody. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, it's kind of close between lithography and photography. To draw with light. Lithography. 
photo. And Lassen got very little, and Etching got just 8%. Yes, sir. Final answer. They did it again! <laughs> All right. Photography. All right, here it is for $4,000. In July 2000, over 14,000 people showed up in Harrison, New Jersey to try out for a role on what TV show? NYPD Blue, Law and Order, The Sopranos, Sex and the City. Well, I don't live up here, so I don't, didn't hear anything about the, the, uh, the tryout. Well, are you familiar with all these? Yes, shows? I am. Yes, I am. And um, I believe now that I think about it. say the answer is C, The Sopranos. Final answer? Yes, sir, final answer. It happened for The Sopranos. $4,000. We're going for $8,000 right now. What is bovine, spongy form, and cephalopathy? Commonly called. Is it hoof and mouth disease? Anthrax? Lyme disease? Mad cow disease? wrong answers, please. Leave it one wrong answer and the correct one. Regis, I'm going to go with A. Hoof and mouth disease. Okay. I'm going to make your final answer. Yes, sir. No, it was the other one. It was mad cow disease. Don't throw one star here, man. Isn't it? Well, we gotta get moving here, so here's the final fastest thinker question. Here it comes. Put these singers in geographic order according to their country of origin, starting in the north. Dolly Parton, Natalie Imbruglia, Ricky Martin, Celine Dion. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's see what the final answer is in the correct order, starting in the north. Celine Dion, Dolly Parton, Ricky Martin, and Natalie Brooklyn. Okay, who got it right in the fastest time? The winner is Norman. Get into that hot seat. Retired for how many years now? <laughs> oh, I've been retired for 20 years. I what? thought you asked me how long I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like 20 years, I'll bet. All right, uh, Norman, congratulations. I got to give you know about the rules, you know about the lifeline. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> $100. The giraffe is known for its extremely long what? Ears, neck, tongue, drum solos. I'd say I, I know it for its neck, big. 
Neck the right hand's a short and the left and it's neck. Two hundred dollars, Dolphin, check it out. If a horse wins a race by a very slim margin, it is commonly said he won by a what? Hand, nose, tail, congressional majority. This is easy. All the answers are B, nose. Final? <laughs> yeah, the horse wins by a nose. You're right. Two hundred dollars. All right, Norman, that uh, means that we're out of time for the night, but Norman will be back here on Sunday night, and joining him will be 10 new contestants who have flown in from all over the country. And they are Gary McCauley, Lisa Pearson, Jack Lightbody, Jason Baratsis, Ryan Flynn, Christopher Root, Robert Elliott, Greg Hummel, Lois Colombo, Scott Craig.